one was found safe. In Falfuria, a Falfuria's man charged with killing his estranged wife by beating her to death is still on the run after police say he ripped off his GPS ankle monitor and fled. Eusebio Chevo de Leon was set to stand trial for murder on Monday, but he is nowhere to be found. Our Mike De Silva has the latest. Mike. Katia de Leon was released from the Brooks County Jail in October after posting a $500,000 bond. And it was earlier this month that authorities lost track of de Leon after he ripped ripped off that ankle monitor and hit the road where he went, no one knows. In my experience, I have some of the best people in this country that are tracking him down or are trying to track him down. That's, that's the U.S. Marshals, along with other people and agencies in law enforcement, federal and state. And uh, they have access to, uh, I guess, uh, technology or, and, and other forms of, of uh, getting intelligence and information. Joe Mike Pena, the assistant district attorney for Brooks in Jim Wells counties, says he's prepared for the trial, but that De Leon has to be there for the day of jury selection or else they cannot proceed to trial. Sam Fugate, the man who's defending De Leon and who is also the mayor of Kingsville, says he has not heard from De Leon. So now everyone is sort of on standby waiting for De Leon to be found and arrested. We cross that bridge when we get there, but my deal is the case is not going to go away. Uh, he's going to be rearrested, he's going to be tried, or he's going to die out there, out there on the road without ever being arrested. But th this case is not, is not going to go away. Now, it was bail bondsman Raul Rivetta who posted De Leon's bond in October. I went to his business office today and felt furious, but it was closed for the holidays. However, over the phone, Rivetta told me that he has not heard from De Leon either and that he feels terrible about what has happened. Rivetta says he never thought De Leon would run like this and that De Leon's father was supposed to be keeping a close watch on him. It was back in March of last year that authorities say De Leon killed his estranged wife and then took her vehicle and drove it to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Michigan. After being caught, De Leon was extradited back to Brooks County where he remained in the county jail until this past October. Rivetta, the bail bondsman, says De Leon's father told him that Eusebio doesn't have any money on him, that he only had $150 on him when he left, so it remains unclear just how long he can evade authorities wherever he is. Katia? Yeah, that is